You love telling your spouse, partner, children, or friends what to do, right? Then how come the thought of giving feedback to your employees at review time is daunting? If you're anxious about year-end or upcoming quarterly performance reviews, then come on managers, it's time for some performance review tips. Each year, new managers around the world struggle with the same administrative task, performance reviews. We all want to be liked, so when it's time to give performance feedback that's going to include constructive, aka negative feedback, we get nervous. As a result, we avoid planning for reviews and then rush out of the gate with them. If this sounds like you, here are some best practices. Number one, prepare. Don't wing it. Focus on company standards and guidance from HR on what templates to use and how to collect data. Dedicate uninterrupted time to complete review documents, even if it means you're working at home to do it. This helps you evaluate the big picture, the entire review period, whether it's six months or a year. Details are a must, and several examples of your points are essential. And remember to be objective. Put your emotions aside. This is business, not personal. Number two, control the setting. Avoid sitting behind your desk. It's the position of authority, a barrier between you and the employee that is much bigger than a piece of wood. Sit at a table together or bring your chair around the corner of your desk. Select a time of the day when you have more than enough time. Steer clear of Friday afternoon or first thing Monday morning. If the meeting is set for an hour, book the 30 minutes before and after it. That gives you time to clear your desk and also your mind and prevents you from having to end abruptly because of back-to-back -back meetings. Number three, follow up. One of the worst things you can do is nothing after a review discussion. That says to the employee, I don't care or this was just a check the box exercise. Follow up on what you and the employee discussed and decided upon as action items. Regularly refer to these during your weekly one-on-ones and quarterly check-ins. Performance feedback goes both ways. It's a loop, not a one-way street. Ask for upward feedback. Solicit details on what you can do more of and less of. Performance review discussions set the tone that you are attentive to employees. These dialogues are just as vital to workplace success as they are to personal happiness. For more information, go to bnet.com.